in Alaska, it gets very cold. Anybody that follows me on Instagram or Snapchat, you've probably seen that I'll take little pictures and then I'll put the temperature up in the corner. It's cold, y'all. We're having temperatures in the negatives every day. We had a negative 31 degrees the other day. That is cuckoo. Um, negative 25 is a regular that we hit. Today, the high is negative 13 and the low is negative 20 and it's a little bit cloudy. It's not super bright out today. Uh, but it is the time of day where the sun is out, which is great. That's how I have all this beautiful natural light helping um, light the video today. What the heck do you wear when it is negative 20, negative 25, negative 30 degrees outside? What do you wear? Because before I moved here, I had no idea. I had to do tons of research. I had to do a lot of asking around to people that had lived here people that currently lived here. We have a spouse page. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we're a military family. So I looked on the spouse page and said, hey, what do you wear here? What do you not wear here? What did everyone tell you to get but wasn't actually helpful? And so I wanted to make a video about that because it'll be a great resource to give to other spouses that may be moving or their family may be moving to Alaska. But also it'll be nice for anyone that's moving to a place with super cold temperatures and they don't know how to dress or if you're just visiting. So I wanted to make a video to fill you guys in on what we wear when it is very cold out. The first thing to talk about are base layers. Base layers or as I've always heard them referred to in Georgia, long johns. So up here they're called base layers in like athletic stores and outdoor stores they call them base layers. I've always heard them referred to as long johns. Um, base layers are super important. So when it is in the negatives, you need something a little extra underneath your clothing. You want base layers that are made of merino wool or some sort of polyester blend or even fleece. You do not want base layers made of cotton. Reason being, if you're wearing base layers, you go inside, you still have your base layers on, you sweat, and then you go outside, that sweat's gonna freeze and that can cause a lot of discomfort. So cotton's not great because it'll hold on to that sweat, whereas everything else is a little more wicking. So you want something that is moisture wicking. So these purple leggings are what I think of when I think of long johns. They're cotton poly blend by a company called Old Mill. They keep me pretty warm. I wouldn't wear these when it was super cold outside, but I like to pull them down over my feet like this and put my socks on over them to stay warm when it's not super cold out. This is a fleece pair. These are by a company called Climate Right, which is made by Cuddle Duds, and they are polyester and spandex, and you can see they're kind of a fleecy material. Um, base layers aren't very cute because they're, ma they're made to be under things, so they're not gonna be like super cutie. Another thing I do if all of my base layers are being washed at the time, sometimes I'll wear my LuLaRoe leggings as base layers because they're not cotton. This is a base layer top from REI. This is 100% silk. Silk is better for helping you regulate temperature. Um, so this is one that I wear a lot. This is also good if you're, I know I'm gonna wear a V-neck or a cowl neck because I know this won't show. Whereas a lot of base layers come, come up kind of high. Like the base layer shirt that I have on right now is just this crew neck. So it's nice to have a V-neck option as well. This one is Cuddle Duds. It's a little bit more athletic of a, it has a more of an athletic look to it. Um, this one is flex fit polyester and spandex. One thing I really like about this shirt is it has thumb holes, which is great. I think it is really helpful to have thumb holes because you can go ahead and put that on and then put your gloves on on top of it or even pull your, if you're wearing a, a bigger layer on top, pull that down to cover up some of your hands and then put your gloves on because that keeps your hands warm. So I wear my base layers and then I will wear a long sleeve shirt on top of it usually. Like I said, if I'm wearing a V-neck, then I'll put on my V-neck base layer. If I'm wearing a crew neck, I'll put that on. Or a lot of times what I'll do is instead of wearing a long sleeve shirt, I'll wear a sweatshirt like I have on today. Or if I'm wearing a regular long sleeve shirt, I'll put a sweater on on top of that. So today I have on this, this is just like a, standard pullover sweatshirt 
fleece on the, or yeah, fleecy on the inside and just a regular sweatshirt. The WC is not for water closet, which I get asked a lot. It's for Wesleyan College, which is the college I went to. These are great because they're big and baggy and comfy and they're also very warm. And then on top of my base layer and then a long sleeve shirt or a sweatshirt, on top of that, I will usually wear a jacket. I prefer down jackets. I just think that they're warmer um, and they help insulate a little better. However, they are a little bit pricey. So it's one of those things that maybe rather than buying several jackets at a, a reduced price or a sale price or a low quality, maybe just get one good down jacket to keep you really warm in the winter. They don't have to be these huge puffy jackets. I do have one like that. They don't have to be these huge puffy jackets. A lot of down jackets you can get really uh, cl cut close to your body and very thin. So I'm gonna show you some of the down jackets I have. Okay, so we've moved to the Arctic entryway and it's a little bit, uh, the lighting is a little different in here. It's very dark outside. So this is a cheaper jacket. This is actually St. John's Bay. Um, and this is a large, and you can tell I've had a lot. This is one I had when I lived in Wichita as well because there's lots of makeup on the collar. Um, but this is just, it's not real down. It's just a puffy coat. Um, it does have a hood, which I think is helpful, but it also zips off. I like to wear the ear protection, which I'll talk about in a little bit, and then pull my hood over the top just for a little extra warmth to hold in that heat. So this is one that I wear a lot, and it's purple, which is one of my favorites. Probably my favorite jacket that I own and one that I get a lot of wear out of is my black Nano Puff by Patagonia. I like Patagonia because if something happens to your jacket, if it gets ripped, if something happens that is not part of just normal wear and tear, you can send it back to them and they'll repair it for you or send you another jacket. This is called the Nano Puff, so this is not one of those jackets that are big and puffy, but it's a great jacket because it's light but it keeps you very, very warm. Super thin, you see it's not very bulky. Now let's talk accessories. Very important to keep your head warm and covered because heat leaves your body through your head and through your feet. When I go to work, I have to wear my hair up. So when I wear my hair up, I like to wear these little ear covers. I was wearing one in one of my videos. Actually, I wear it quite often. It's black and fleece and it has my monogram on top. But this is a really cute one as well. And these just go over your head like this. They look like a cute little headband. So I like this. Keeps my ears covered, but it's really cute too, I think. And um, one thing about these though is you have to be careful if you wear makeup like I do. Sometimes it'll pick it up. My black one I have to wash pretty frequently because of that. If I'm wearing my hair down, I like to wear a little beanie because I can pull it down over my ears. It's pretty cute keeps my head really warm. This one benefit to these is that it covers my whole head, keeping my whole head warm instead of just my ears, but I do like to have that ear coverage. I'm sure my hair is wild right now. These CC beanies are really popular. This is another cute beanie that I have. These CCs come in all sorts of colors. Some of them have the little pom-poms, some of them have fleece in the inside, and they come in like a million different colors, and they're usually pretty affordably priced. So that kind of covers it for head and ear coverage. Just make sure you have your head covered, pull a hood up if you have one, protect those ears. Um, it's not super windy here, but I know in Kansas it was really windy, so I like to have something to cover my ears because that ice cold wind blowing inside your ears is so not good for your ears. I mean, it's like one of the first things that'll make you sick. I also will wear a scarf wrapped around, um, not necessarily always a blanket scarf, but like a little fleece scarf just so that I can pull it up over my face keep my face warm. I've looked into buying a balaclava, which is one of those things that you pull over your face and it covers everything but like right here. But I just can't make myself buy one knowing that I have plenty of hats and plenty of uh, scarves that will come up. So I just haven't, haven't purchased one of those yet. And I've been fine without it. Another thing is gloves. So on a day that is not super chilly, it's nice to have a glove like this. These are from Old Navy. It's nice to have these because you have the use of your fingers. But then if you're not using them, it's nice to cover up and let all of your fingers get warm together. Lots of people think, oh, a glove is warmer because my fingers can all have their own space to be warm. And I don't know if there's any like research on this, but I feel like a mitten is a lot 
warmer because instead of your fingers having to heat themselves, they can all work together to keep each other warm. I don't know. That's again, I don't know if there's any science behind that, but I just feel like that's what keeps them warm. So these are great because you can have your fingers out. Um, on a day that's kind of moderately cold, I have these isotoners that I got a few years back when I was living in Wichita. These are gray, they have a fleecy inside, and they have the technology touch fingers on the very, very coldest days. I have these mittens that my friend sent me. Again, I think mittens keep you the warmest. These are really fun on the outside and they're fleece on the inside. All right, so we've got, so far, face layers, shirt over it or sweater over it, then sweatshirt, puffy jacket, accessories. So now let's talk about your feet. Socks are gonna be the same as the base layers. You don't wanna wear cotton socks on your skin and you don't wanna wear, um, you don't wanna wear flimsy like athletic socks. You want to wear wool socks. If you can find merino wool, that's great. If you can find, um, a lot of times hunting socks are a good thing to buy. They're not like the super cutest, but if you can go get hunting socks, those are made for cold weather to keep feet warm. Smart Wool is a great brand. I have a lot of, uh, I have two or three pairs of Smart Wool socks that are really great. Again, they're not the cutest, but they're gonna go under snow boots, so you're not really going to see how cute they are, how not cute they are. If your feet get really cold, which mine do, I like to wear uh, a, like a base layer sock. So I'll wear my merino wool socks that aren't very cute. And then I put a cute sock over it, um, which is one thing you can do. And then you have that double layer of protection. And then the boots, your snow boots, again, probably not gonna be the prettiest, but they're going to keep you warm. So here in Alaska right now, we have lots and lots of snow. So when you have ice and when you have snow, you want waterproof boots waterproof not water resistant waterproof and you want the whole boot to be waterproof so here are some of the boots that i have that i wear on a regular basis when it's not super cold out i like to wear a just a, like a small um i think sperry makes a boot like this or ll bean like a duck boot i guess is what you would call it uh this is waterproof and then this is just uh, fleecy fabric. These are great and then you can wear some cute little black socks that peek out from it. Um, so these are good when it's moderately cold. When it is very cold, I wear these North Face boots. These are boots that my mother-in-law sent me and they are amazing. So they're waterproof all over. They're fuzzy right here and it's I love boots that have this because sometimes when you're trying to shove your foot in there, it's really hard to get your foot in your boot. So I like having a little hook where I can pull them on really fast. Um, and then on the inside, it's really poofy and that helps to keep your foot warm as well. Um, and it has the toe pick. And North Face is a great brand. When you're buying boots, you wanna look for boots that have a rating on there, that say they are rated up to negative 15 degrees or up to negative 30 degrees. And that's something to pay attention to. It's not one of those just silly things they put on there. With weather, like Alaska weather, you're gonna have to have that. When it is stupid cold outside, like negative 30, and there's a lot of snow, these are what I like to wear. These are my sorrel boots. They make all sorts of different kinds. Um, they make these big tall ones and then they make shorter ones. Um, but these are, these are really good and these are rated up to negative 25. So I obviously need to wear some heavy socks underneath. Um, these boots are cute. They look pretty. I like the fur and everything and they make some fun designs. However, one thing I will tell you is these are like the bad Hercules. These boots are like the bad boys like these are what i whip out when it is so stupid cold because of that they're they're heavy duty like it's hard for me to drive in these sometimes they're very hard for me to get on these are not boots that i would wear just for the heck of it like these are boots that i wear because it's super super cold outside and i know i'm going to be outside for longer than just going to my car like if i'm going to 
maybe shovel snow in the backyard. This, this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm not wearing these just for fun, I guess is what I'm saying. These are the boots I wear the most often. Um, they're just, they're the most comfortable. They're easiest to get on and off. My sorrel boots do have uh, the pull-up straps, but on these, they snap and come off. So there is a little layer on the inside. It has a little insert with the fur. If you went over to someone's house and you were wearing these boots, you could slip this part out and probably wear this just fine around someone's house and um, keep these at the doorway. So that is how I stay warm in this Arctic tundra that we live in here in Alaska. I'm gonna try to do more like this during the week in between our vlogs. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this in the future, just leave me some feedback down below in the comments section or give it a thumbs up. And I hope this was helpful for anyone that's moving to Alaska or people that are just curious what we wear here when it is super duper cold. So thanks for watching. Check out some of our other videos and I'll see you guys later.